Hi, I'm Diana, but some of you might know me as My McDoodles, where I share my artwork, fun projects and tutorials on my Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and in my Etsy shop. Today we're going to make our own Valentines. So I'm going to draw mine digitally in an app called Procreate that I really like. Um, this is version 5 and I'm using an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil second generation. So you can make this on your iPad or you can just draw it on paper and scan it into your computer and then um, adjust things in Photoshop or whatever editing software you have to adjust the size and everything. Um, I'm going to just draw it in here and then I'll import it in Photoshop later and make it on an 8.5 by 11 sheet that I can print. So I started by creating um, the document size two and a half by three and a half inches. So I'm gonna open a new document and draw a sketch of what I want my Valentine to look like in there and add my words. I found this really cute website with all these like really cute sayings for Valentines on there. Um, it's called Skip to My Lou, and she has like lists of cute puns and stuff for kids' Valentines. Now, my son is four, so I'm gonna make some for his preschool class. So the jokes for that would probably be a little different than like an older kid or whatever. Like some of these things um, a little kid might not get or the other way around it might be like too babyish for an older kid. So um, just gonna kind of look through and find cute ones that'll work for my four year old. He really likes cars and he can't say his R's. So I thought this would be really cute. It says, I really like you. And that's actually how it sounds when he says that. So I thought that would be a really cute one. So I'm gonna do one based on that and just draw like a little car. Let's find another one that'll work for little kids. Maybe like, I kind of like this when you were out of this world because you could draw like a cute cartoon of earth and like space and I'm, I think I'll use that one. I'm going to go ahead and sketch it in. This is just a really rough sketch. I'll go back in and add my ink later and make it look, uh, you know, professional. But I'm using the sketching pencil that came with the Procreate app and it's this one. don't know how to pronounce that. Derwent, I guess. Um, but I'm using that one if you're interested in using the same one. So make sure you are in your first layer here and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw like the earth and some elements of space. So to make a perfect circle, which I cannot draw on my own, you draw your circle then you hold your pen down. So then I'm gonna add like the, the land and this is just like a cute little cartoon, so I'm not going to go in and try to draw all the continents with the exact shapes and whatever. Um, so that's going to be our green land, and then the other will be the blue oceans. And then we'll make the earth have like a cute little face. Something like this. And some cheeks. And then you can just add some like stars and space kind of things. Out here, you could even add other planets and whatever, just to make it fun for a little kid. And then I'll add my text in. So you click this wrench thingy to add your text, and then add, and then add text. And it said, um, you are out of this world. I'm going to add Valentine. And then you can edit your your font too. This is kind of like a boring font that just came with the the app. It's just easy to read, but not that fun. So I'm going to click Edit Style and make it something more interesting. You can adjust your size and stuff too while you're in here if you need to. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little like to from area for the kids to fill in their names. So then you can go back in and add your text again. I'm going to use the same font and then you need more more space. Kids are big so they need to be able to fit the names on the the space and then it's centered right now so I'm just going to click this left um, hand alignment and then this looks like it needs a little more space also. So you can kind of adjust it the way you like. And once you got it, you press done. 
And then I'm just going to scoot it down here a little bit. And then I'm going to go back out and make one more. I have all of these ones that I started so far, so I'm just going to make probably one more. So let's go back in that, that website, skip to my loo, and find another one. Oh, this is cute. Look, I am buggy for you. I'm going to do that one. So let's go back to our app. We'll make a new document. And I'm going to draw two bugs. I really love ladybugs, so I'm going to do a ladybug. And then maybe a, oh, whoopsie daisy. I guess she should be kind of round. I don't know how many hands ladybugs have. I'm just going to draw a whole bunch to make it look really cute. And maybe the eyeballs up here. And her antennas. And we'll do maybe another bug, like a... Oh, I don't know. Let's just make a goofy one. You could even make her have like heart eyes. That would be kind of cute. And this guy's all happy. We'll just make like a whatever bug. Just something cute. And give him a bunch of legs. And then add our text. So we're gonna go over here to the wrench, add text. Um, and said I am. We'll make it capital maybe because it sets it apart a little bit. I am buggy for you, Valentine. And then I'm gonna edit this style again because I'm not big on like this plain looking style. And I think I'll just use that welcome font again. And you can import fonts. Um, you, you can click here and press import font and then you can choose um, new ones or whatever that you downloaded. And, and that way you have more choices than the ones that came with the app. So I imported a few, so I have a couple more to choose from. So I'm gonna use that in the center here. I might make this buggy weird a different color once I have it all finished. And then the two in the front, I'm just gonna go back in the other one I just made of the, um, the earth, and I'm gonna drag this out to the, I'm gonna hold it and drag it out to the left. Whoa, and we're not gonna delete it. Okay, just hold your finger on it for a second. There you go. And drag it out to the left. And then with your other hand, you can click in the gallery to go back and then click in the document you wanna paste it into. And it'll go ahead and paste it in here. Now it's not going to be something you can edit. You see how it now says inserted image instead of this like um, text uh, thumbnail. So you can't edit the text anymore once you do that, but I wanted it to be the same size and the same text, so it's fine. So I'm just gonna paste it in there to save a little time, and then I can get coloring. So now we're gonna add our color and clean these up a little bit. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do this bug one first. I made this palette for these Valentines. If you'd like to use it, I'll share it. Let's see, I'm gonna make, this layer, I'm gonna put it on top here and I'm gonna turn off these other layers so I can see what I'm doing a little better. And I'm just gonna take the opacity down so it's not so heavy and then create a new layer on top of that one. So that's where I'm going to paint. I like this brush called Inca in the inking category. Uh, it comes with the app. So I'm gonna use that one and I'm gonna grab this bright red for my ladybug and just start coloring her in. Okay, so I made a new layer and then let's just draw him this like pinkish color here. And 
and then maybe we'll just add a little like shadow on top of his body so I'll go back down to the pink put a layer on top of there and maybe grab like this dark red and maybe kind of like a speckly brush I like this one that's called spray paint um, flicks and if you need to you can always adjust like the spacing or whatever to make it the way you like it but I'm gonna leave it just like this and make them really little and then I'm gonna do the clipping mask down on top of the pink afterwards so that it stays in the lines so I just add a little spray and then clip it down so clipping mask and then it goes down onto that pink and that looks pretty cute the only thing is his antennas aren't all that obvious so I think maybe I'm gonna make those red and how far are they attached to his eyes I should have done them in a new layer because then it could easily be changed but what I'm gonna do is just do um, if you take two fingers and you swipe to the right it turns on this alpha lock and you can color on top and it will only color in the lines in this layer and I just have to be careful because his eyeballs are in that layer I really should have made a new layer but I didn't so um, we're just gonna try to correct it this way so I'll color those in okay yeah I like that better and then the little heart in between them I think I'll make this bright red so let's grab that one and then the background I think I'll make it this this pretty blue and you can see when I did that their eyes weren't colored in white so sometimes I forget and then I realize once I do something like that and then it's really obvious that I forgot to color the eyes so the eyes are in this layer so I'm going to go right underneath and add the white okay if you wanted to add more details you could do, do that I think I'll just add like a couple shines and whatever um, just in a layer on the very top. So I think that looks pretty cute. Let's see how our text looks. So here is our text. It's pretty good. These bugs could be scooched down a little bit. So I'm just going to swipe to the right to select these layers. Scoot them down. So let's see how we can make the text really stand out. I think I may just try to do the word buggy in a different color and see how that looks. So we can go in, edit the style, and then double click to select the word. And then I can make it red. I think that looks cute. Let's see what it would look like outlined. Nah, let's leave it like that. And then I'm going to go back out, click done, see how the two in the front looks. And you can see the kid isn't going to have enough space to write their name there. So I think our bugs do need to be just a little bit smaller. So let's go in and select all of them. Click this arrow and just adjust the bugs a little bit. That looks better. And then I can adjust this two in the front from up a little bit if you want you could go in and add stuff to the background just to make it kind of like more texture and stuff maybe I'll just add a little bit of dots or something there's some cute ones in this textures uh, that comes with the app so maybe some dots would be cute but not too much because I don't want it to be too busy maybe we can add a little bit behind the bugs so I'm gonna go ahead and save it you can export it by clicking the wrench and then share and then you have all these options of how to export it you can even airdrop it to yourself um, to your computer or whatever if you use the airdrop option here um, I don't have my computer set up nearby to do that but eventually that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna edit them in Photoshop into a document to make it a printable sheet of paper with like multiple valentines on it and then you could just print it on cardstock and cut them out 
Um, you can also share to Instagram or Facebook or just save the image into your photo library. So I'm just going to go ahead and save mine to make sure I have it and then go back out and work on the other ones. I hope you enjoyed this project, whether you're just making these valentines for fun for yourself or if you're selling them on your Etsy shop or some other platform. I'd love to see what you created. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit like. If you'd like to see more, then you can click the subscribe circle in the center of the screen and there are more videos on the sides. Happy Valentine's Day!